Here we go, unit 17, questions 57 to 59. General reaction of an alcohol with an aldehyde, hemiacetal. Okay, for example, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> now, uh, question 57. Which of the following structures represents the hemiacetal that exists at equilibrium in a solution of propanol? Okay, so I draw a propanol. So prop means three carbons. Al means it's an aldehyde. It means it has a carbonyl group and it ends with a hydrogen here. I'm not going to put in all the hydrogens uh, just to uh, save time. And ethanol. So we have CCOH. We know that oxygen is to the right of carbon in the periodic table. It makes it delta negative. Carbon is delta positive. Carbonyl, classic situation. Delta positive carbon, delta negative. So uh, we have the um, oxygen, which delta negative, opposites attract, attracted here, knocks the electrons up. <clears throat> so uh, we have carbon, 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 OH, and uh, now we have O, and we have this has been brought along in here like that, so it's going to be O-C-C. -C. And we just have one hydrogen here. So this is our hemiacetal because it's half of an acetal because the OH group is still here. So this oxygen has gone up and um, the electrons went up and uh, accepted a, a hydrogen. By the way, this reaction, same reaction, occurs much, much faster if you use an acid uh, catalyst, H+. Plus, and what that catalyst would do, because it's the most charged thing, it's more charged than anything else because it's it has a formal charge, is it would go to these electrons, it would pull up these electrons here because opposites attract, pulls up the electrons, bonds making OH, so it would make OH, but it would leave this carbon not delta positive, but formal positive charge because the electrons would have gone up. And because it becomes formal positive charge, this comes in, boom much faster opposites attract and then it forms this but the whole thing is quicker and the um, the proton is regenerated because look this hydrogen once the oxygen bonds here that hydrogen is released and so uh, the proton is regenerated when you are using the acid catalyst and as you know uh, that does not affect the equilibrium of the reaction uh, but it makes the uh, reaction occur much faster and so now I just have to find this product uh, among the products uh, being shown, and it is answer choice C with one, two, three carbons, OH group, then OCC. So that's uh, answer choice C. So look, moving on to question 58. Which one of the following pairs of compounds can be uh, used to form uh, the hemiacetal? Blah. So they show the hemiacetal, which is uh, one, two, three, Four, and then an OH group and um, then OCC so that's the uh, one that they uh, have shown it's not very different from uh, from the reaction that uh, we just did actually and uh, and so it's very easy to see that the only thing that's um, different if you notice that starting compound the previous starting compound is this extra carbon here um, and so we just need an extra carbon here and all and to get that extra carbon all we have to do is add an extra carbon there so instead of propanal um, we will need butanal so four carbons uh, there and uh, with the ethanol in the same reaction which would create the same um, attack of this central carbon and the OH group there so that butanal and ethanol is the answer choice um, 58C. Next, uh, question 59. Uh, consider these three molecules. The hemiacetal structure is found in... Well, first, um, in order to answer 59, the most important thing that you can do is just take a moment and, uh, and be sure that you draw a hemiacetal and that structure is very clear in your mind so that you have an easy time assessing the different structures that they show you. So a, hem a hemiacetal has an 
R group and an OH group on the central carbon. And that's the key part of it. It's this OR and the OH group on that same central carbon. So it, it reminds you, um, uh, you know, sort of of, a, of an ester, but an ester would have had a double bond to an oxygen over here. Um, so this is a hemiacetal. So now uh, we look at the uh, potential answer, answer choices and for a Roman numeral one, um, looking at Roman numeral one, we have ROR, but the OH group is too far away. See, you have um, carbon, oxygen, carbon, carbon, OH. So this OH is on this carbon, this oxygen is bonded to this, but do you see that for a hemiacetal, both oxygens are on the same carbon? And this is not the case, so Roman numeral one is incorrect. Now for Roman numeral two, we have, um, we have carbon, oxygen, carbon, OH. Now you can see that the OH and the oxygen are both bonded uh, to this uh, carbon. So that is uh, hemiacetal. And then for number three, you can, you can see, because uh, I can't draw that well, but um, for number three, you can see that the um, central carbon there where the OH is attached also has an oxygen attached to that carbon, and that is the hemiacetal structure. So therefore, uh, we have um, answer uh, Roman numeral two and three, which is answer choice D. And you may know uh, that when you have an aldehyde, you create an acetal. But had we started with a keta uh, ketone instead of an aldehyde, we would produce a ketal. And um, if you uh, wanted to uh, read up more information about that, you can go to uh, org 7.2.2 uh, in the gold standard GAMS app uh, to learn more about that.